He says, when all these, when you see all these prophecies come together, he says, look up, for he is nigh. And he is, he's just right there, and he's getting ready to come and get the, his bride. And uh, we need to be prayed up, and we need to make for sure that our salvation is right with God. <clears throat> um, and here it says, uh, the woman and the dragon, it's talking about the woman and the dragon. It says, and the temple of God was open in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of the testament and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and earthquakes and great hail and uh, people I mean destruction is going to be so bad upon this earth we can't even fathom of what it's going to be um, it's so calm right now but you've always heard uh, to be careful because the calm before the storm um, and you know uh, because things are, are, are really going to start um, getting really bad in these days that we're living in. Um, here it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. And them that fear thy name shall small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyeth the earth. Um, and this is uh, talking about on the seventh trumpet. But I want to go to um, Daniel 9 and 26. And it says, After three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. And here it talks about uh, thereof shall be with a flood. And I was talking about uh, Satan that opens his mouth, and there's going to be a flood going towards Israel. Um, and that's what it talks about in um, um, Daniel. And um, I want to also go to, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and go to Psalms 9010. Because um, we were talking just here on the 26th of Daniel, because it was talking about the Messiah being cut off. So let's go into um, uh, Psalms 9010. And there's a, a scripture there that I kind of want to touch bases with you on. It kind of has to do with that. It says, The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength and labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and then we fly away. And that's what it's saying there. It says, Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fears, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And so there it's, it's basically telling us, you know, uh, the, the Daniel's timeline of kind of where we're at in this era of time. And uh, the prophecies are coming up on us. And, um, and no one's taking this serious. And we need to because, you know, I don't want to see my loved ones... Uh, to be uh, not to be able to make it and um, and that's why I'm spreading the word and uh, and telling people about this um, because I care for all of you I love all of you I pray uh, for the people uh, that don't have a sincere heart to God and I and I just ask that God just uh, pours his holy anointing upon you and opens your eyes to see exactly what really is going on in the world today um, because there's just so much chaos going on right now um, I want to also go to uh, let's, see. let's go to Isaiah 66 7 And here, it's talking about uh, travailing again in, in the birth, and that uh, brought forth 
the uh, the man child. It says before she travelled, she brought forth before her pain came. She was delivered of a man child. Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made uh, to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? Saith the Lord, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Saith God, rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her. And here is, is what is it saying is um, when it talks about bringing to the birth, that is the birth of Christ. And, uh, and we have to have, you know, the Holy Ghost. We have to have the Holy Ghost to, um, in order to make it. Uh, because that's what's going to get us out of here. And um, we have to be just constantly seeking God and His will in in our souls. Um, it says here, and um, and not cause to bring forth. So basically, it's it's saying is um, um, you have the Holy Ghost and and me not bring forth. What? No. It's saying that uh, you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Spirit within you. You need to live with that Holy Spirit. Uh, in order for uh, us to bring forth uh, to meet uh, the Lord in the air, uh, for when He calls us up, it says, uh, "Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb?" And um, the womb, I believe, is uh, the gates of heaven. And for when we are called up, and we go into the heavens, and because in another scripture it talks about um, being. Uh, uh, being closed behind closed doors and staying in the chambers he says yet for a little while until the indignation is passed over so um, and that's when I believe he's he's pouring down his wrath upon the earth so uh, he says that we are not appointed uh, to his wrath so that's basically I believe that's what that's what it's saying uh, the uh, shutting the womb is um, opening uh, the gates of heaven and and shutting them behind uh, uh, the, the bride, the bride of Christ. And um, also, there's another scripture I want to talk to you about. If you go to uh, 1 Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter 5, says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For he is not coming as a thief in the night to the people who are ready and waiting for him that have the Holy Spirit. He's only coming to a thief in the night to the ones that are not ready, the ones that do not study his word or his prophecies. He says, For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, and then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as to develop upon a woman with a child in labor uh, to be delivered, uh, they shall not escape. But, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep or sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for the helmet the hope of salvation. It says, For God hath not appointed us to wrath. Now, uh, here in verse 3, we'll go back to, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety and sudden destruction. I mean, aren't they saying that now? Aren't they been trying to get on, uh, trying to get this peace treaty going? And because it's, it's got to happen, it's going to happen because it's prophesied. Every prophecy that has been told in the Bible has uh, either come to pass or coming to pass. Um, and then there's going to be a sudden destruction cometh af after that. And I believe that that has also has to do with Revelation 12, uh, which is also a part of the rapture. Um, and I believe this could be the uh, third world war um, because. 
there's going to be nukes. Um, it talks about in the Bible how the eyes will be sunk in its head and the skin will be falling off. That's nuclear warhead. And, um, and so uh, God is allowing this to happen for all the prophecies to come. And, but at this time, it says uh, that the woman will travail with the child. And uh, that we are the ones that's going to escape, but not the ones who was not following Christ. And we need to give all of our heart, might, and soul to the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, he gave it to us. He died on the cross for our sins. And he didn't have to. But um, for his mercy and grace, he did. And that's the least we can do is just give him everything that we have. And love him with all of our hearts and souls. And uh, preach the gospel. Uh, tell everyone that you run into uh, you know, how um, God is uh, a merciful God uh, when you come to him and love him and, and, and he uh, and he will uh, love you. He does. He loves you with all of his heart. But if you are not ready, I'm sorry. I mean, you're going to be lost. And, and I hate saying that, but you will. And um, the prophecies are coming together. And a lot of people say that, you know, well, these prophecies have been happening forever. And these uh, tsunamis and earthquakes and tornadoes, they've all been happening for many, many, many years. And yes, this is very true. They have. But it says when a woman is also in labor, it says it's, you also have to spiritually look at that as in the history. He says, for when you shall see these things come together... Uh, look up because I am nigh and I am here at the door and uh, they are on top of us the prophecies there has been so many fulfilled and uh, they are coming together just like he said and it's just like a woman in labor you know when they're when you get four or five minutes apart you're ready to go to the emergency room because she's about ready to be delivered uh, for a child and so that's what uh, God is saying here in this world uh, spiritually uh, the uh, the world is in torment the, the destruction is coming up on the earth and we're having these tsunamis and tornadoes and in diverse places and pestilence and everything is happening and everything is just right there on top of each other and um, God could come back at any time because the prophecies are showing true and uh, the, the skies, uh, you know, is like God's billboard. Um, he's showing signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And he talks about that in Genesis, um, that he has given the sun, moon, and stars also for signs. And, uh, and he's showing them. He's showing them right now. And I hope that, you know, people will open their eyes to see what's really going on and studying, study the Bible Show yourself approved, and uh, and God will talk to you. He'll give you revelation. You just call upon Him, call upon His name, and uh, He will come into your heart. and um, And you just need to uh, be, um, you know, clean and holy uh, before Him, and and just be ready for Him, and make sure your salvation is right with Christ, and um, and so we can all be together in heaven. But. Uh, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about tonight. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you go. And I hope this video will, video, uh, will help you. And, and I hope that it has um, um, got to some of the hearts out there. And, and that they uh, will want to hear more. I'm going to start putting videos up once a week. And, um, and hopefully this uh, really... Uh, does good and starts uh, getting people ready for the Lord and I want to do this just for his glory and uh, because I feel like you know everybody needs to be uh, spreading his word right now uh, if at any time now is the time and uh, and I hope that you can find a good church that you can get into um, the one that I go to is Turning Point Apostolic in Ellettsville uh, my pastor is 